hi, this is Thomas Alwanelli, Cisco Networking Academy instructor at uh, Turo University. This is the solution for my group, GCUN 223, step-by-step -step configuration. In this active area, you see the requirement. You configure this network, just simple network, a step-by-step. -step. So, first step. As you see here, assign host name, the host names um, uh, in the topology. Let's start from switch one. So we assign host name. We are going to global configuration mode, click terminal and type host name as one. We assign, we assign the name, we jump to the, the switch, again, enable, configure terminal, host name, S2, we did it, and switch three. Enable, configure terminal, host name is three. So we completed first uh, step. We assigned host names to the switches. Now we have to create two VLANs, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and uh, we have to give uh, the name, assign the name. Okay, let's start from here, switch one. So from global configuration mode, we are typing VLAN 10, name, it's green, right? Green, green, and VLAN 20, name, blue. Okay, we have to, Two VLANs we just created. Let's check. Let's check to show VLAN. Okay, as you see here, we we created. We created, but um, ports uh, switch ports not associated yet. Let's do it. Let's create VLAN other switches. Switch two. VLAN ten. Name green, VLAN 20, name blue. We created VLANs also in this switch, in switch two, we jump to next switch here at switch three, um, VLAN 10, name Green, VLAN 20, name, blue. Okay, we completed the uh, second step, creating VLANs and uh, we assigned the names. Okay, now let's um, include these interfaces to appropriate VLANs, to write VLANs. Okay, F1. Uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 must be in VLAN 10. Okay, first we are going to that, that interface, interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, and we're typing switch port access VLAN 10. Okay, so. This PC is included now in VLAN 10. Now, this is uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 10. Let's go. Under that interface, and we have to type switch port access VLAN 20. 
Okay, we completed this task. The jump to here, same thing. Interface fast is an at zero slash one. Switch port. Access VLAN ten. And interface pass is an at zero slash ten. Switch port access VLAN twenty. We did it, we completed. We included both PCs to appropriate VLANs. The jump to S3. Interface, fast is an at zero slash one. And um, switch port, access for VLAN 10, okay, and interface fast ethernet 0 slash 10 must be included in VLAN 20 okay so we did it we completed we we completed this task now we uh, now we have uh, VLANs and we know that trunks we need trunk configuration between switches so let's do it gigabit 0 slash 1 and 2 let's do it simultaneously interface a range that is gig 0 slash 1 base dash 2 and uh, both interfaces uh, switch ports must be in trunk okay switch port mode trunk trunk and immediately we have to disable dtp auto negotiation dtp is dynamic trunking protocol so we have to disable disable dtp how to do it just switch port no negotiate okay we did it let's jump to this switch here. interface range gig 0 slash 1 to switch port mode trunk trunk and we have to stop disable auto negotiation okay switch port no negotiate no negotiate we did it we completed here and let's do it on switch three interface range gig zero slash one two switch port mode trunk and switch port no negotiate okay we did it we completed this task also all right now all switches must be in the rapid span tree mode right now by default it's uh, in uh, STP classic spanning tree protocol so to change the mode we have following command spanning tree mode question mark and you see here rapid spanning tree rapid spanning tree we changed we changed the mode from classic spanning tree to rapid uh, per VLAN spanning tree. Okay, we did it here. We jump here. Exit from global configuration mode. We are typing spanning tree mode 
rapid. Okay. We configure the switch, we change the modes, spanning tree, from classic spanning tree to rapid, and same thing here, exit, um, spanning tree, mode, rapid. We did it. We completed this task also. So, all switches must be in the rapid spanning tree mode. Okay. All active access ports must run as port fast ports. Let's do it. What we have here. Those are access, access ports, right? So we have to uh, we have to uh, configure those ports. Interface range fast Ethernet zero slash one. We are configuring simultaneously zero slash ten. Okay, and uh, spanning tree. Spanning tree, and you see here port fast. Port fast. Port fast. Okay, we did it. We changed. Let's jump to here. Same thing. Interface range. Fast Ethernet zero slash one. Fast Ethernet zero slash ten. Simultaneously, we are configuring spanning tree. Port fast. We did it. We did it. And let's jump here. Interface range. Fast Ethernet zero slash one. Fast Ethernet zero slash ten. Spanning tree. Port fast. Okay. We did it. We changed the mode here. Now what we have, what we have, switch one must be root switch for VLAN 10. How to do it? This switch must be, so we are configuring now per VLAN spanning tree. So we will send some traffic to one direction, other traffic will send to other direction. So switch one must be root switch for VLAN 10 and switch, which one? Switch, switch two must be a root switch for VLAN 20, this one. Okay, let, let's do it. Exit. Uh, we have to type spanning tree, VLAN, spanning tree, VLAN 10 question mark and here we have either root or priority so let's select uh, root root question mark and let's do it priority priority zero okay Priority zero means that this switch one will be a root switch for VLAN 10. Switch two, exit, spanning tree, VLAN 20, and Let's make priority also zero for VLAN 20. This means that switch two will be root switch for VLAN 20. Okay, we completed. Let's check, let's check if we did everything correctly to show 
spanny tree. Okay. Uh, let's see. We know that this is this is Willen one. He is Willen ten. Willen ten. We know that in the root switch, all ports must be in designated role or designated state. And indeed, here we have designated, designated all ports here, we have designated. And uh, let's check here. Do show spanning tree. And let's see for VLAN 20, for VLAN 20, designated. All ports are in designated state. Okay, and also look here, root ID for VLAN 20. This bridge is the root. And look, uh, MAC addresses. MAC addresses also are matching. This means that this switch for VLAN 20 is a root switch. Okay. We did it. What else we need? Assign IP addresses to the host, as you see in the topology. Okay, let's see. Uh, here. This PC must be 192, 168.1.1. Okay. Let me copy this. This must be 2.1, right? 2.1. One, we did it. This must be two dot two. Two dot two. This PC must be one dot two. One dot two. And two more PCs. Two dot three. Two dot three and one dot three here. One dot three. We completed all tasks. Now, we have to check now connectivity between, um, between PCs from same, same VLAN. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's, uh, let's check connectivity from this PC to this PC. Think 192. 168.1.3. Yes, we have it's pingable, we have con connection. If we check connection from green to blue, we cannot ping. We cannot blink because they are in different networks, in different VLANs. So to make connection um to communicate between these switches we need a router we know that router connects networks and um, together and we have to configure our router and uh, we call that configuration router on a stick okay and the uh, router on a stick i'll explain you later. 
So we did it. That's it. This is the solution. Okay, bye-bye.